Welcome to BuzzLogic Vino Diaries, where influencers talk and I taste. I'm your host, Valerie Combs, and we're coming at you live from District Wine Bar in San Francisco's Soma neighborhood. Today, I'm really excited to welcome Courtney Cochran. She's an avid wine blogger and the founder and principal of Your Personal Sommelier, also author of the Hip Taste, The Fresh Guide to Wine. This book is available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, anywhere you can get a book. Um, and you're also the founder of Hip Taste Events, correct? So what we're tasting here, I'm actually going to turn the tables and have Courtney tell us a little bit about what we're trying today. All right. Well, we're, tra we're tasting Viognier today, and I thought it was appropriate because it's March. Yes. And it's still a little cool outside, as we both know from coming in. But Viognier is a white grape, so we're already thinking about white grapes for summertime. But it's a very full-bodied white, so I think it's perfect for winter months for a little bit of a chill still, very full body. You have a lot of things like sort of um, white flowers and baking spices and really delicious, yummy aroma. Definitely. Well, cheers. Cheers. Give it a try. It's good. I love it. Love I, know. I know. What's not to love? I love it myself. So let's talk a little bit about, uh, let's first talk about your blogging kind of experience. How did you get into blogging originally? Sure. Well, I started blogging in the fall of 2005, not long after I'd founded my company, Your mm -hmm. Personal Sommelier. Mm -hmm. And I just finished business school at UCLA, and I really didn't have any clients to speak of yet. Mm -hmm. I had a great website, and again, that's kind of, I guess, time a topic right. of what we're talking about. I had a great website, and I had a lot of drive and desire to get my name out there, and one of the easiest ways was to sort of jump on this blogging right. bandwagon that was really yeah. new at that time. Right. Well, how did you at start? At least among non-techies like myself, it was exactly. very Well, to that point, how did a non-techie sort of figure out and navigate the tools and how to get started and things like that? Sure. I, uh, I signed up for a blogger blog through Google, and it was really easy. I think I customized my background and felt very cool mm -hmm. with that small adjustment. But the content, I think, was what captivated people and the name and the fresh tone and having someone who is who is a certified sommelier and in her 20s and female, I think that was interesting and the blog really was a fantastic platform to get my name out because right, all the exactly. search engines you know, picked it up so quickly and I really think it catapulted me so much more quickly to the, you know, in front of so many eyeballs. And, Absolutely. And How did you get stuff. the search engines to pick, pick you up so quickly? Well, from cross-linking and mm -hmm. all those things you're supposed to do. Yeah, and then yeah. I tried to blog frequently and that also helps. Absolutely. So where do you get your ideas for content and posts and things like that? You know, that's really never been the problem for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I was an, a lit major in college and I've always been what you might call a creative type. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. for me it was exciting to actually have an audience. You know, when you have a blog, you know it's going to be read. Right. And so I think that at that time also that there was a lot of interest around sort of the millennial generation and mm -hmm. still is very much, which is millennials, millennials are people who turn 21 after the year 2000. Mm -hmm. So they're mostly in their 20s. Mm -hmm. And essentially, um, they're kind of having a big a big impact on the wine business. And they're the fastest growing demographic for wine, and they really don't have a voice. So let's talk so a little bit about how maybe those millennials, obviously a core audience embracing Web 2.0 kinds of technologies, you know, huge contingency on the social right. networks. You know, what Absolutely. we're seeing at BuzzLogic is sort of this interesting kind of intersection between the wine community locally here, I'm not really sure how it is elsewhere, and sort of a, a embracing, they're, they're sort of embracing these Web 2.0 tools and technologies. And what is your take on sort of things like the proliferation of blogs in the wine uh, arena and different Facebook apps that are wine related? Sure. Well, I think that wine is a unique product that lends itself really well to 2.0. And mm -hmm. I think one of the reasons is that wine is inherently confusing to a lot of people. And so they're constantly looking for more information and clarification in terms of, well, what is a Viognier? Is that the grape? Is that where it's made? Is that who made it? Right. Um, they're looking for the answers to these questions and technology makes it them readily available to them. You know, like never before. Right. And right. I think that, you know, again, with, with more people drinking wine and going out around wine, it's just it's a great, great connection. So do you use any of the kind of fun little wine kind of 2.0 apps that are on Facebook? Like I know Snooze has an application that's a social network for wine lovers and reviews. Right. Snooze Bottle is Nose I think is another or I've I mean, actually consulted for Bottle Nose. Oh okay. Well, so what, I'm quite how, familiar with them. Uh, yeah, well I actually I've downloaded a couple of them um, on my Facebook page, but I haven't used them yet. So um, it is just an interesting sort of um, kind of trend to notice. So, I mean, do you think that it's sort of a little bit, do you think this trend's kind of going on outside of sort of the, the kind of Bay Area kind of wine aficionado area I think much? it is. I think the that technology? we're really in the epicenter of it and we need to be cognizant of that and think that the world is, remember the world is not San Francisco. Right. It's hard to, to when, you, when you're here, it's hard to think that, but um, truly I think that 
there's a lot more of it happening here. There is some of it happening back east. I know that a guy named Gary Vaynerchuk, who mm. has a great um, vlog called Wine Library TV that gets mm. tons of tons of mm -hmm. hits. He's always on Facebook. We know that, yes. So he's great, but I, I don't know outside of Gary. Yeah. What else is really happening? Mm -hmm. So I mm -hmm. think that it's it's going to happen. So you know, in terms again of your own blog, you know, from the time that you started it until today, how would you kind of characterize its impact um, on your business and your brand? Well, I think it was you know you can't underestimate the impact it had on just getting my name out. So mm -hmm. initially, I was giving my writing away for free on my blog, mm -hmm. and now I'm a paid freelance writer. Mm -hmm. So that was tremendous. That certainly impacts my my day to day. You know, exactly. income and all of those things. Exactly. But in terms of just the awareness and um, for the brand, it's you know, it's it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's not something that I do every day. I'm not a turbo blogger, mm -hmm. but I think that people do when they when they're interested in learning more about your business. It's great to have a, both a website and a blog because the blog tells them what you've been doing lately. Mm -hmm. It shows them more of your personality, and I think that that part of it's been invaluable for me. Wow, interesting. So, any tips for anyone who's basically kind of trying to get started with their own blog? Um, any I related think, to a business? Sure, I think that today it's really important to integrate these other applications we're talking about like Facebook and Twitter I know we talked about as well right and I think that it's important to to the extent that you can pull in a greater part of the community and really invite people to be a part of your own blog more than ever before because the tools are out there and that's what people want right exactly great advice and insight thank you so much Courtney oh, it's my pleasure. this is Valerie Combs from BuzzLogic's Vino Diaries signing off cheers cheers <laughs>